Okay guys, it is the Dev King here, back with another video, and guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about random, the random function, and all of that good stuff. So, this is a very useful feature, because if you want to make a random coin spawner, or you want to make a random amount of time you give someone money, or you want to, you know, you want to do anything random, you're going to need a random number, okay? So, this is very important, and you need to know this for probably any game you ever make. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial, and teach you all about random. So... If you guys don't remember last the last tutorial, I taught you about the the breaking loops, right? Now we don't need that anymore. Actually, I guess we can keep it, but I told you about breaking loops, and I used the little rain spawner uh, example, right? So we're gonna be using the same rain spawner. So make sure you watch last tutorial and the tutorial before that if you didn't already, because um, you're gonna need to definitely know, you're gonna definitely need to know that stuff. So yeah. Anyways, um, okay. So what we're gonna do now is create a random number. Okay. So let's go ahead and start. So local random. Okay. Local random number <laughs> okay this is how you do it okay so actually i'll make my own script first just to just to keep it simple but um we'll do this now okay so here we go uh, local random number equals math dot random um math dot random and then in this parentheses you put what number do you want it what numbers do you want to generate? Okay, so let's say I wanted to generate numbers one through thirty. I would do one comma thirty, and then boom, it'll get a random number between one and thirty, and it'll give it back to you in this variable. So if I go over here and let me actually um, hide one of these things. Wait, uh, random? No, it's not random. Wait, no. <laughs> okay, this is a random script. Okay, and then this is the rain spawner. Okay, this is why you name your scripts, guys. This is why you name your scripts right here, okay? Because I was confused which one it was. So let me go ahead and disable this. Um, and then let me show you what this means. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and print the random number. All right, so we're going to print random number. Okay, now there's more to random than just this. Um, this is pretty much it, but there's a little bit more to it. If you guys want to know a little bit more, yeah, you know, you can. So that's 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 it right there. So you get, we got 14 in the console. I'm not sure you can see that, but there you go. We got 14 is what it printed. So yeah, that's what we have. And basically now we got 14 in the console. And um, <laughs> yeah, and, and we got a random number between 1 and 30. So it worked, all right? So now we're going to go ahead and do um, something else with random. Okay, so we got local random number right is equal to math dot random now you see this stuff right here okay you see random seed now you see this is random seed right now random seed this is a little bit weird to explain right but random seed basically means how is it generating the number okay like what's the seed like you ever played minecraft before if you have played minecraft in minecraft when you create a world it asks you for the seed it's like the random number thing right so that's basically what this is it's like it's like what seed do you want it so you can put a random number you can you put a number right but you shouldn't do that because it's gonna, it's going to give you the same random number every time you do it, unless you want to. If it's if it's for your game and you and you want to make the same random numbers for like a single player game or something like that, I don't know. I don't know. It'd be specific to your game, right? But then you'd want to put you know the same seed. Now you want to set this before that because you know it's going to obviously um, pick the seed after. But um, so you know, let's do my bad. Let's do random seed. Local seed is equal. Actually, you don't even need to put the seed part or the, the variable part. I mean, so we're gonna make the seed. If you want to make the seed random to every single game, okay, what you would do is just do tick, and then and then um, parentheses. Now, what does tick do? Now, I never taught you guys that either. So tick is basically like time. It tick is time. Tick is like every single second, millisecond, everything else in the world. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting so deep right now. <laughs> okay, listen, tick is time. Okay, let me go ahead and print tick for you guys. Show you what it does. Okay, I'm gonna print tick. It's a it's a function. This is what it technically is, right? But it's not really a function. But okay, you see that right there? That's tick. Now this is like the amount of time in seconds. I'm pretty sure since like 19 like 87 or something like that. Okay, like this has been running forever, right? Or not forever, but like for a long time. Okay, obviously. For a long time, and this number is always changing, so you're always gonna have a random seed or a different seed every time you run it. If you do that, now this is a little unnecessary because I'm pretty sure by default Roblox will give you a random seed, so you don't really need this. But um, it, it's it's okay, I guess. If you if you need to make a random seed, and or you want to make you want to make it specific, then you want to use that. But um, yeah. So see now I got 19. So yeah, it's a random seed every time, even without that thing. So. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so now you understand how to use random, and also if you want to get a decimal point, uh, what you do is do zero to one, and it'll print a decimal out for you guys. I'm pretty sure it's what it does, right? Oh wait, no, that, that didn't work. Okay, well, anyways, if you want to get a decimal, um, I think you're just supposed to like 
Mm. We can, I guess you have to use tick probably. But anyways, all right, that's besides the point. So what we need is our random thing right here. So we're going to go ahead and move this variable over here, and we can delete the script. So goodbye. And we're going to go ahead and go back to our rain spawner. And remember, guys, watch the last, watch the last tutorial we have already because you're not going to understand what I'm doing right now. So watch that one before that and the one before, okay? And watch all of them if you haven't. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and get the random number, okay? So we're going to do local... And we want to spawn like a ra okay. So what this does, right, is the rain spawner. Okay, so we want to spawn random rain everywhere, like around, like I'd say within like a fifteen block radius. Okay, so we want to probably say like, okay, let's make a part, and I'll show you. So like here, um, so I'd say we want rain to fall about like anywhere under this platform is fine, right? So like anywhere under this platform, okay. So what we do to do that, okay, is we would get the dimensions of the platform, which is 53 and 43. So we can do um, random. So we want to get a random number every time. So we're going to put it in the loop because it'll be getting a random number every time. So we're going to do local random number is equal to random and then one or no, f yeah, one, two, 53. And we're good. Okay. So then we're going to get the random number. Okay. And we're basically just going to spawn this random number um, somewhere random, okay? We're going we're gonna to put it... Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning this so bad. But we're going to spawn this... We're going to get a random number, right? And we're going to put it in our position so it spawns in a random spot, okay? So we're going to get the random number. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to put in the uh, X value, okay? Which is the way, like, this way. And then the Z value is this way. And the Y value is up and down. So we want to keep the Y value the same, like, high up. So the position where it spawns, we want to do random number. And then we want to get a pretty random number for the second one too, or else it's going to spawn like a straight line. Like, look, watch this. Ready? I'm going to run the script right now. It's going to just spawn in like a straight line. Let me show you what I mean. So look, watch this. It's going to just spawn in a straight line. And what the heck? Type to call global random a table value. Wait, what? Am I doing this wrong? What, what did I just do? Um, <laughs> I'm a little confused right now. I don't know what I just did, but it should be working, shouldn't it? I mean, like, local random, right? I, I don't understand what's happening. Well, let me let me put it out here, maybe? Local random number is equal to random one, two. See, I learn with you guys, too, bro. Like, see, sometimes you mess up with scripters, but it happens. I, I'm really confused. Like, didn't we just do this? I'm using the wrong syntax. Oh no, I'm doing. <laughs> I'm so silly, guys. I'm, I'm doing. Uh, I did. I forgot to put math dot random. That's my bad, guys. See, um, don't want to mess up on that. So make sure you put math dot random, or else you're gonna mess up. I'm sorry about that, guys. But there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and put that there. So no, we don't want those parentheses. So now it's gonna generate a number from one to fifty, and then we want to um, let's put it in the uh, x-axis. Okay. So watch this. Ready? We're gonna put it in the x-axis. Okay. And it's going to spawn like all throughout like a, a rectangular line. Like watch this here. I'll show you. Okay, see? Look, see? It's on a rectangular line because the only random number is the middle one or the, or the x-axis one, right? So um, that happens, right? So I should make this a lot higher because we wanted to run a lot longer. But anyways, um, so we're going to go ahead and do um, this real quick. Okay, we're going to go ahead and actually make it so we have a two random numbers. So it'll spawn in like a random area that's not like... I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do local random number two. And I think this should generate a different number um, if I did this correctly. So we're gonna do 1250 again. And then we're gonna put the random number two for the second slot. And remember, the y axis is the same because the y axis is like up high and that doesn't change. So there we go, guys. It is now raining. Look at that, guys. And um, yeah, this is officially rain. Now, obviously, in a game, you probably wouldn't do this because this would actually probably make it really bad performance um, because, <laughs> you know, because it's just literally just blocks spawning in like almost infinitely. So you don't want to have that in your game probably. But, you know, it looks kind of cool, I guess. I mean, this is like kind of kind of cool looking at, right? And also, you know what? Just for fun, we can do one more random number thing. So we're going to go ahead and do a random number three. And we're going to make it spawn like upwards. So I, I kind of want to see what it looks like. I'm just kind of curious at this point. So, oh, what the heck? Okay, there we go. And then get rid of the last number there. And we're going to go ahead and run. Wait, what did I just... Okay, I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, there you go. And then we're going to go ahead and run that thing. And we're going to see what it looks like. And now it should spawn upwards, too. So watch this. 
So there you go. Now there's like actual like rain, I guess, kind of ish. I mean, it, it, rain doesn't really spawn in like different spots. You can't really see where rain spawns in real life, but <laughs> you know, you put a cloud there or something, and then uh, it looks kind of real, I guess. So yeah. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much the random tutorial. Hope you did enjoy it, guys. I'm sorry if it was a little confusing. If it was, please leave a comment below. I will try to answer your comment. Try to answer your comment as fast as I can. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want more, and also, if you're new to the series, there's a playlist in the link in the description to watch every single tutorial in a playlist. So yeah, anyways, guys, leave a comment, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one, which will be soon. Peace out, guys. Oh, peace out. Okay. <laughs>